Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I am Mary with Mary Greeley News. Another huge fireball was seen last night at about 11.01 p.m. across Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Michigan, Ohio, and Wisconsin. 58 reports were sent in. Here you can see the trajectory of this uh, meteorite, this fireball. And as of today, four years from today, on Friday, April 13th, 2029, an asteroid as wide as the Empire State Building will come close to Earth that is, um, yeah, within the area of the orbiting satellites. It is a rare event. They're now saying that it will probably impact the moon. And then you worry about the gravity of the Earth or maybe the gravity of the moon changing its direction. Asteroid 99942 Apollos, named for the serpent god of chaos in ancient Egypt, is a 1,100 foot, 340 meter wide space rock that will get uh, within 20,000, 32,000 kilometers of our planet. If Apollos was to strike the Earth, it could spread devastation across the radius of hundreds of miles, according to space.com, killing millions of people if it struck a highly populated me uh, metropolitan area. According to NASA, when Apollos was discovered in 2004, scientists calculated that it might strike Earth in 2029 or 2036 or 2068. Its orbit has since then been refined a few times, and it is, uh, as it stands right now, they say we are safe. Yeah, it'll impact the moon, but if it does impact the moon, what would it do to the moon? The moon is about 252,300 miles from Earth. Asteroid 99942 um, is about, or it's going to get about 20 thousand miles uh, yeah it's it's gonna be close shave I only found one um, video that was decent of this recent uh, fireball that traveled over the states but it got me looking for other asteroid impacts that I didn't know about here in Utah we have what's called the upheaval dome it stretches three miles or five kilometers across and 1,000 feet or 300 meters high. Its origins remain somewhat controversial, but the presence of shocked quartz crystals at the site suggests that the dome mushroomed after a meteorite smashed into the earth, oh, they think maybe 60 million years ago. This dome reminds me of the impact center down there um, by the Gulf of America, uh, the one that they think now wiped out all the dinosaurs, all life, pretty much all life on Earth. By the looks of this, it punched through um, to the mantle of the Earth and brought up magma. And that's why it's domed back up. Yeah, I have a sample of shock crystal, quartz crystal, that I bought on online. Wikipedia says that shock quartz was discovered following a underground nuclear weapons test which generated the intense pressure required to alter the course quartz lattice. Um, Eugene Shoemaker showed that shocked quartz is also found inside craters created by um, meteor impacts. Doing a Google search, here is one image of shocked quartz. Um, they often have these sharp edges. Maybe one side is a point and the other side is rounded. So if you're out there rock hounding and find something like that, yeah, it could be something like this. There is also the Charlevoix impact crater, and that was only recently discovered because of the shocked quartz that someone was, you know, just by chance had happened to find. It is in the region of Quebec, Canada. The original impact structure is estimated to have been 54 kilometers or 34 miles in diameter. And the age of the impact is estimated to be, be between 450 and 20 million years ago. 
The projectile was probably a stony asteroid at least 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles wide in diameter. The impact origin of the structure was first realized in 1965 after the discovery of many shattered cones in the area. I read another article about this impact crater, how it um, probably just wiped everything out that was living uh, within that area from the shock wave. And then in the eastern part of Antarctica, somewhere over there, is an, an area called Wilkes Lake Crater. It is a hole in the bedrock beneath that location. It measures 315 miles across or 510 kilometers and researchers have been trying to explain its existence since the 1960s when they got uh, gravity anomalies but most recent evidence and studies suggest that it was born from a cataclysmic meteorite impact so it doesn't really show here on the map to the to the left but on the right wherever it's at you can show this, you can see this gravity anomaly. Um, it was first detected as a huge dent in Earth's gravitational field. Initially, ground based seismic and gravity surveys indicated that the crater was huge, around 150 miles, 240 kilometers across, but newer techniques revealed it is likely more than double that size. According to a 2018 study, the Wilkes Land Crater sits about one mile or 1.6 kilometers beneath the surface of Antarctica's ice sheet. The study showed that the crater in more detail than ever before and examined its potential link with the southern Australia, which was connected to East Antarctica until around uh, 35 million years ago when the continent separated. While the origin of the crater remained uncertain, the results of the study suggest that the event that created the hole likely occurred before the continent separated. If the Wilkes Land Crater is an impact crater, then it would be the greatest impact crater known on Earth in terms of its size, the author wrote. So that would probably be even larger than the one that sounds like um, that wiped out all the dinosaurs. Yeah. So this latest event that occurred last night at 11.01 p.m. actually came across about the same location as the one that I did on the 8th or the 9th. Yeah, there was a huge one scene that was, um, yeah, a lot of people saw that one. Now in this report, it says the color was light green, and that came from uh, Illinois. A lot of people asked about the color of a meteorite and its chemical composition. So here we have red, which would be nitrogen and oxygen, a yellow, iron, purple, calcium, uh, maybe an orange, sodium, and magnesium, yeah, red or blue or green. So again, this was light green and maybe yellow. So that would be iron and magnesium. Yeah, I wonder if it was a stony one. This report from Indiana said it was blue and orange. Maybe magnesium and also iron. Yeah, it was. if it's iron, um, yeah, we're probably lucky that it didn't impact. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. If you have your own thoughts about this and past impact and about the, the one that's supposed to come in just four years exactly on this date, yeah, let me know. What are your thoughts? How do they know it's going to impact the moon? But it's going to be, yeah, only um, 20,000 miles above Earth's surface. A little scary. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.